Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, I'm so, so honored to have Jack Way here. Uh, Jack is from Colasoft, and I've, I've told you a little bit about their, their software. Um, and, and just to, to, uh, to introduce the, the concept again and restate it, remember, we've been looking at Wireshark, and we've been looking at packets. And trying to watch your network with a packet analyzer is like trying to watch a football game with a 30,000 power telescope. You can make out every pore on the quarterback's nose, but you're not going to know this, the, uh, the, the score of the game, right? You've got to be able to step back. Those are good for things like, oh, wait a minute, did he, was his foot out of bounds? You know, so you can't really monitor your network that way. So we have, instead of just packet capture, we have statistic analyzers. And this allows you to just say, show me my network utilization right now, my average utilization, break it up by protocols, break it up by conversations, break it up, show me who my top talkers are, where are the top destinations. So uh, we've, we've seen uh, the people who make Wireshark have um, uh, the Riverbed Network Analyzer. Uh, well, years ago, and I met uh, uh, Jack through through uh, Jane Hu. Jane uh, Hu introduced me to Colasoft and um, the, their CAPSA tool. And it actually had a lot of neat features that Riverbed didn't. It had, it had uh, like IDS rules. I mean, what's an IDS? What's a, uh, the reason they named it snort is because the word sniffer was taken, right? It's a packet analyzer or a network analyzer. So they had uh, uh, in CAPSA um, rules to look for uh, sin floods, things like that. So really wonderful stuff. I was blown away by it. The cost was much less. So uh, I, I loved it and I was using it in some of my hacking classes, but then I've been doing more uh, CICP. I haven't gotten to see it in a few, few years. And I was in a conversation with Jane and I said, you know, I would love to have somebody demo this for my class and see where you guys are growing up. And uh, Jack, I noticed that you, you've done it and you told me you were gonna do CAPSA, that's what I originally asked for, but uh, I wasn't even aware of any Kronos. And um, so CAPSA is something that runs on somebody's laptop or somebody's workstation, portable thing. Kronos, you, you now have probes that you can put at various points of the network to gather the traffic in real time and log it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, without any further uh, ado, uh, Jack, uh, thank you very, very much for coming here. And um, uh, I look forward to hearing your talk. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's my great honor to have this presentation with you. Uh, uh, today, uh, I'm going to uh, give you a brief introduction about our company and the products. Um, this presentation contains uh, three parts. The first part, uh, is the brief introduction about Colasoft. Uh, the second part is the introduction of CAPSA. The third, third part, I will uh, give you a, a live demo to help you know CAPSA better. Um, Colasoft was founded in 2001, and we have more than 16 years uh, experience in NPMD industry. And um, uh, now um, we have, um, we have uh, provided our um, products and uh, solutions for uh, over 110 countries globally and uh, over, um, about uh, 8,000 um, customers use our uh, products to, mess, mess, um, to um, help, their, help to troubleshoot tra their networks. And um, we also are named as a visionary in Gartner 2008 uh, MQ for network performance monitoring and diagnosis. And um, uh, we have more than um, um, 100,000 um, customers worldwide. Uh, here are some factual customers from us. Uh, you can see uh, some very famous companies like Intel, um, Carrefour, and Yahoo and some other um, very big, big companies uh, all over the world. Uh, now, CAPSA uh, provides three main products for our customers. The first one is CAPSA. Uh, CAPSA is the portable network analyzer software 
uh, it can be installed on any laptop and we can use it to uh, do the real-time monitor, monitoring and analysis. And we also have uh, as expert diagnosis view to help um, customers to um, find possible network issues um, about their, their network. And we also can use it to decode uh, packet protocols. The second one is Unconnors. Uh, Unconnors is a retrospective analysis solution, and we can not only uh, do the real time analysis, and um, we also can uh, use it to uh, analysis uh, and monitor the his historical uh, network traffic. And we also have um, a strong uh, alarm function and report function. And I will uh, show you uh, after this uh, CAPSA um, presentation. And the third one is UPM. Uh, UPM is a pro product to uh, focus on business um, status and business performance. And we can use it to monitor the business status and uh, we also can use it to uh, find um, business problems and uh, uh, locate the phone point very fast. So again, at UPM, that's uh, your universal or unified performance management, uh, right? So that, that takes uh, the output from all these things, is that what that is? Yes, uh, we can uh, use UPM to monitor uh, the business uh, performance and uh, also the application performance. Great, great. Mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Uh, I think um, you are very familiar with uh, CAPSA uh, because I, I heard Larry and you are using uh, using uh, the CAPSA to uh, show some uh, packets in your class. And the uh, CAPSA is a portable network analyzer. Uh, we can use it to monitor the lens and double lens um, traffic. Uh, used for, um, and um, we also can use it to uh, decode packets. And um, uh, we can see man, many uh, different uh, traffic status uh, in CAPSA. Uh, there, there are some uh, key features and uh, uh, about CAPSA, and you can see um, CAPSA provides a very comprehensive tra traffic statics, and uh, we can use it to uh, view the total traffic, uh, the unitization of uh, of whole network, and the packet size, uh, and and many other uh, uh, tech characters. Now, with the voice over IP, I imagine you also have the ability to to say, uh, I could show me all my voice calls and who are the top talkers, but then drill in in a conversation and actually play back that conversation, correct? Yes, right. Yeah. And uh, we um, we have uh, VOP uh, functions uh, in our earlier version, and we have uh, in enhanced uh, these functions in uh, version uh, 10. Yeah. And you can see uh, this is the dashboard of CAPSA, and we have um, many different charts and uh, uh, graphs to show the traffic statics. For example, uh, you can see this is the first uh, graph to show uh, the utilization of whole network. And we can also uh, see the traffic, to the traffic about uh, the network. And we also can get the top talkers about uh, the hosts and uh, applications. Which is often, that's what I said with the, uh, talking mm -hmm. to my class here, that um, I don't need to see individual packets a lot. Of, most of the time I'm staring at where is my traffic going? Who's eating it most? So this is, this is much more useful than having Wireshark to save your network. Yes, um, we have many, um, uh, many, so, so many uh, graphs and uh, charts to show uh, the traffic statics. And Wireshark um, is more professional. 
uh, because um, the, uh, um, it, there is no, it's, it's very um, less um, graphs and uh, charts in Wireshark. So um, CAPSA is more, how to say, more uh, visible, visible for all to, to know the um, conversations between the hosts. Yeah, now, the people who make that though have a competitive competing product. The the, the riverbed mm -hmm. uh, network analyzer that is similar to Capsa, in that yeah, it does, yeah. So they, they do have a product mm -hmm. for that. But uh, at at least as far as the last time I checked, they did not have IDS rules where you guys had security tools. And this was going back five ten years. So I'm, I'm curious to see where you guys are. And we have a basic mm -hmm. question. I, I think, so we have a question here, who are your uh, competitors? And I think the only real competitor is probably Riverbed out there. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean the uh, strengths uh, uh, of, uh, of our products? Uh, well, uh, 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 one of our students asked, who are your competitors? Mm -hmm. So who do you sell uh, against? Yeah, um, our competitors uh, is um, Nescort, uh, real bad and um, uh, serious. Um, Netscout, so, but uh, um, yeah. sure, mm -hmm. surely Riverbed has got to be up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was just looking at uh, you had mentioned the Gartner solution. Uh, I wonder yeah. who Gartner uh, who they put you up against. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. I'm sorry. Okay. And here um, we can, uh, in some review, um, we have many um, statics about the total traffic uh, and uh, packet size and many other uh, uh, metrics about TCP conversations, uh, DNS analysis and um, uh, FTP analysis and uh, HTTP analysis. It's very uh, useful to chop-shoot chop shoot, uh, the network problems. From this, we can uh, get many uh, useful things uh, in summary view. And here, uh, in IP and point, point view, uh, we can get uh, many uh, metrics about uh, each endpoint. Uh, for example, the uh, total buys, the total packets, and um, uh, many other things uh, about this uh, host. And here we have a protocol view, and um, um, these uh, protocols will be uh, displayed um, uh, here, and uh, we can um, focus on uh, the protocol we're interested in. For example, if we are uh, interested on HTTP, uh, HTTP protocol, uh, we can double click and um, uh, to, to view the HTTP uh, packets. And here um, we have many uh, conversa uh, many uh, different uh, conversations conversations view. For example, the TCP conversation view and the UDP conversation view, and uh, we can uh, know uh, how these these two uh, nodes to communicate. Uh, use TCP or UDP protocol, and uh, we also can double click to uh, this conversation and uh, uh, get the time sequence or the um, packet content. Uh, about this uh, conversation. And here is the expert diagnosis uh, view. Uh, it's a very um, useful function to um, help uh, our customers to find possible network issues uh, about their network. Uh, for example, you can see in this, this screen, um, we de detect uh, uh, many possible network issues uh, automatically. Uh, for example, the, this is an uh, uh, ARP scan. And um, also we have many um, performance issues about this network. Uh, for example, the DN DNS server returns error. And um, we also can get uh, which IP address has, uh, has these issues.
I'm curious, and, what, what are the rules for an ARP scan? I know what an ARP scan is, but I'm just curious why you have one. What, what would that be indicative of here? Uh, 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 sorry, um, I, I can't. Um, I, I think uh, there is a very um, uh, a delay between us, so I, I can't hear you um, very clearly. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, in the ARP scan, Mm -hmm. uh, for me, an ARP scan, is, and my students might need to know this, so I want them to uh, understand what's going on. Um, everybody must answer an ARP. So that's why uh, ARP scans are popular for, for hackers, especially if they're on the same network. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody has to answer it, so it's the most reliable um, scan. Uh, but I'm curious what rule triggered the ARP scan. So how did how did this expert diagnosis realize there was an ARP scan? Uh, for example, uh, if we uh, if um, CAPSA um, find there are some uh, possible network issues, uh, for example, um, uh, the ARP scans, we will detect the um, char characters of the network packets, and if um, if the network package uh, characters is very uh, re related to um, this uh, attack and we will um, mark it as the ARP scan. And um, the, the, um, the detailed uh, information about the ARP scan, uh, we will, I will uh, do the uh, live demo to show you okay, um, how, how we, uh, yeah. Good enough. Yeah, okay. And we also can uh, use our uh, product CAPSA to decode packets. Uh, it's very, uh, it's very, uh, we can do uh, the same things in Wireshark, but uh, CAPSA is more, uh, do it more graphically. So there was a question earlier from Prince. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I, he said is this Wireshark in a more visual form? And I had answered, Wireshark is a packet analyzer. CAPS mm -hmm. is a statistics analyzer, but CAPS does contain a packet mm -hmm. analyzer. So it does have that capability. It can do everything Wireshark can do, but it can also give us a much bigger uh, picture of the network. Yes, right. Also, we can um, um, find uh, the, the default applications in our network, and we also can uh, customize uh, the applications uh, according to the uh, IP port, uh, IP address, and uh, port to um, to make uh, use user defined applications, and we can uh, use CAPSA to. Uh, do the analysis about uh, these applications. I, I'm noticing you have uh, uh, mobile WeChat, and I just mm -hmm. installed WeChat because my uh, my nephew just uh, moved to yeah. uh, Beijing for a year. I have a nephew who's living in Beijing. Uh, he's, okay. he's, so it, it, he said, oh, I don't get Facebook here. I said, no, they don't. We'll have to go WeChat. So I just installed mm -hmm. it. Yes, I, I know, yeah. Okay, and um, we also have um, uh, alarms function and uh, report function to uh, uh, to alter you uh, if there are some uh, abnormal traffic or some network issues happened in our network. And uh, uh, if the alarm was be triggered, uh, we we can uh, send you an email to alter you. Uh, the alarm was be triggered, and then. Uh, once we get this email and we can troubleshoot uh, the network issues. And we also have uh, very strong uh, field functions. Uh, we can, um, according to the IP address or the port number and other metrics to make a capture field and then uh, we can get uh, the uh, traffic or statics we are interested in.
uh, here is the is the log view, and we we can get a very uh, simpler um, um, a, a graph and charts to to view um, some logs about the DNS and um, HTTP log. Uh, last function is a uh, report function, and we can get um, many different charts uh, to to show the traffic statics. Okay, um, then I will give you a live demo to show you uh, the CAPSAS functions. Package to uh, do this demonstration. For example, this uh, this is a TCP scan uh, scan uh, package, and here uh, is the um, dashboard of uh, CAPSA. And here we can uh, add uh, many different charts uh, according to our needs. For example, um, I can add a uh, top IP group by total traffic. Here uh, we can get uh, uh, different charts shows in this uh, dashboard view. And here is the summary, summary view, and we can go to the TCP uh, statics. We can see uh, there are so many TCP scenes and packets here. So uh, maybe we'll, we were concern, concerned about the TCP scene uh, attacks uh, exist in our network. And here uh, is the diagnosis view. Um, you can see um, CAPSAS uh, find some possible network issues in diagnosis view. Here we can double click about this issue and get uh, uh, detailed information about the source IP address. Um, also we can uh, double click here. Uh, we can get uh, descriptions and possible calls and the solutions about uh, this network uh, issue. And um, this function is to uh, help um, network op operations to find possible network um, network issues, uh, we, but we can we can't uh, um, rely on this uh, function to find uh, network issues because um, some um, some uh, network issues can be uh, automatically detected by uh, CAPSA. We also need to. Uh, used to use use uh, CAPSA to decode packets to locate uh, the network pro pro problems. Um, I will uh, skip uh, the mark and point view and IP and point view and uh, the conversations view and just to go to the TCP conversation. You used to have a uh, security view. Is that still available? Do you still uh, do that with yeah. security? Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, here we, we have uh, many different uh, analysis profiles. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was looking for. Yes, exactly. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. if, if we are uh, focused on security uh, things, we can uh, choose this analysis button and just click star, and we will get a uh, very uh, a lot of uh, yeah. Sure. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, if uh, the attacks uh, find uh, founded uh, by CAPSA, it will display it here. 
and then we can uh, use our uh, uh, our CAPSA to decode packets to locate uh, whether uh, the network attacks uh, happened in our network or not. Yeah, and this is the stuff Riverbed did not have, and I, I, I didn't understand why they were behind mm -hmm. it. I, I felt you guys had a much better handle of this. Yes. Okay, let's go back to the uh, global analysis view. And here, um, as I mentioned in, in, in my slides, uh, there is the application view to show uh, many different uh, applications um, in our network. We also can customize the uh, applications um, by the IP address, um, IP address and port number. So um, we can uh, monitor and analyze analysis uh, the uh, user-defined uh, applications. Here uh, is the packet view, and we can uh, see uh, we can see the um, packet content uh, here. And um, um, I will uh, replay some uh, web, uh, web traffic here to show you um, how um, CAPSA uh, analysis uh, the web uh, traffic. Here we can see um, uh, there are some uh, zip calls and H draw three to three calls uh, in uh, our network, and um, we all we we uh, we have um, uh, some review to to show the most value and uh, the statics of uh, the web calls and other um, useful metrics about these calls. And here we also can uh, replay uh, the audio, uh, audio, uh, audio scenes or video uh, here. And um, CAPSA also can uh, can save these packets uh, here. Uh, we just uh, just click the save package to disk, and we can uh, save uh, this network package to our local disk. And we also can use other uh, tools to uh, open it and uh, uh, decode it. And we also have many uh, uh, interest, interesting uh, functions about uh, CAPSA. For example, this is the reconstructor uh, functions. Uh, if you are interested in um, the, the whole uh, functions about CAPSA, uh, you, you can um, go, to, go to our website and uh, try a, uh, try a um, how to say free version to uh, to to uh, to experience uh, the CAPSAS function. We have a question here, and I just want to make mm -hmm. sure: uh, uh, Can the system produce quality metrics based on packet behavior? So, can you look at a uh, a VoIP call, voice over IP? Yeah. And, and say, this obviously had some trouble. I could see there were lost packets, there were retries. Mm -hmm. um, sure, um, we, we have many um, performance met metrics for web calls. For example, the most value, and we, we will know uh, the quality of our web calls. And we also have, um, uh, we can see the um, statics about 
the performance. For example, the packet loss and the jitter about the or whole whole uh, the course, and also we have uh, latency uh, metrics about uh, course. And about uh, according to these uh, metrics, we will know the qualities about verb course. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we also can decode uh, the verb course um, packets and uh, uh, use these to to find uh, if there are some uh, retransmissions or uh, TCP delays about the verb course. All right. So we have another question. It says you have two MOS scores. Mm -hmm. MOS. Yeah. I see the V and the uh, A. What what do they relate to? Um, the, the the A stands for the audio uh, about uh, in, uh, in this course, and the V is the video. Oh, ah, yeah. great. Mm -hmm. So, um, do we have any questions about uh, Kapsa? Guys, any other uh, questions? There was there was a question earlier that I I, I thought might have been longer. Oh, do you yeah. integrate with any SIM tools? Somebody wanted to know that's S I E M security information and event management tools. Uh, actually, we we don't uh we don't have uh S I E M uh, tools or S O C uh, platform. Uh, in our company, but we will concede to uh, to make some security um, software or appliance uh, to to focus on security things. Yeah. Well, I guess the wonder is, say um, we set up Capsa to alert, and so if it sees a uh, whatever ten thousand sins, send an alert, and then could I trigger that alert to go to someone else's tool? Could I send that to Spelunk or ArcSight or something like that? Mm, uh, uh, yeah, I understand. And uh, uh, so far, um, Capsa don't support 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 okay. these uh, functions to okay. uh, yeah to connect to uh, SIEM platform. But we will um, but we will um, find some ways to um, to do uh, in a. Uh, uh, um, the new, new the latest versions, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shi -shi. Uh, you're welcome. So, um, I will um continue to introduce uh, Unconnors uh, for for you. So again, Capsa guys, it, it runs on a single workstation. So this you could put on your laptop. You could go diagnose. And, and you'd see whatever that interface sees. So, and Kronos allows you in a client server environment to have various probes along your network, and then you could read it in with a, another tool. I go, is, is, is Capsa still the front end or is any Kronos its own front end? Yeah. And uh, um, the Uncronos uh, is a network performance analysis solutions. Uh, and it can consist of two parts. The first part is on corner server and uh, used for capturing and analysis, analysis and, and um, uh, do the statics and the storage, uh, the, the packets. And um, the on corner console is just a software uh, you can install it in, uh, on any Windows platform to show the uh, data and uh, uh, some uh, statics about the traffic, and um, the differences between the Uncorners and Capsa. Um, Capsa is a portable network analyzer, and we we use it to do the uh, real time analysis. But uh, Uncorners, we can use it to do uh, the real time analysis, and also we can use it to do the back in time analysis. And you will record. Uh, the network packets for a long time. What format are they using to uh, to store the packets? Uh, um, how to say? Um, we uh, we saved uh, the pack uh, the packets and we can export the packets uh, about uh, for uh, about the format is uh, the dot cap 
the PCAP and the other uh, many um, different uh, formats. PCAP NG? Yeah. You do support PCAP NG. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we can uh, export the packets uh, and use uh, other tools, for example, the Wireshark and uh, uh, other tools to replace uh, the packets. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the beauty of PCAP or PCAP NG, the next generation. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. NG guys has just has additional fields and that, that you can you can edit and you know and make notes about packets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, um, here um, is the uh, how how Unconnus works, and you can see um, there there is uh, Unconnus server, and um, we have several uh, capture interfaces and uh, management interfaces uh, on Unconnus server, and we just uh, connect to the capture interface to the mirroring port of uh, managed uh, switch, and then we can get a copy of the traffic uh, of whole network. And then uh, all this network traffic will trans transmit uh, to Uncommon Server, and Uncommon Server do the analysis, and um, uh, we can use uh, Uncommon Console to display it, all this traffic statics. Here is the deployment of uh, Unconnus, and you can see uh, there are many dif uh, there are many uh, Unconnus server deployment uh, in several um, areas. For example, we deployed um, uh, the Unconnus server in headquarters, and uh, uh, we also deployed another Unconnus server in server farm, and then uh, we can. Um, collect all this uh, traffic in different area and um, transfer to uh, this traffic statics to Unconnus uh, console. And then we can use a uh, laptop to, uh, to display it, all these traffic statics and find uh, some possible network performance issues or network attacks. And uh, we also uh, deployed Unconnus uh, as the bypass method, so it won't affect the network layout uh, of, of our network. So about uh, the uh, deployment part, uh, do you have any questions? Everybody okay? They've been typing in questions. Uh, I don't see anything, mm -hmm. uh, nothing yet, so. Okay, uh, so uh, I will continue uh, to my presentation. Yeah, here uh, there are uh, the features about uh, Unconnus and we uh, have uh, support the um, top traffic about 40 gigabytes Gbps and um, um, next I will uh, open uh, my Unconnus console to show you uh, how Unconnus works. And here uh, is the uh, start page of Unconnus, and we just uh, have two uh, network links. Uh, the first one is demo, and we can just uh, click the link analysis, and we can go to the uh, interface of Unconnus. Uh, here you can see uh, this is the real-time analysis. We can see all these um, tra network traffic. Uh, happened in our network now. And first, we need to uh, select a time range, and then um, we can get uh, all these network status uh, uh, or metrics about this time period. For example, uh, we can see the total packets uh, here uh, about this time period. And uh, uh, as we know, uh, Unconnus is um, a historical, um, uh, has a, a historical uh, package analysis functions here. Uh, we just uh, um, check uh, our mouse to uh, get this historical time. Also, we can set a select time range. For example, 
uh, we, we want to see uh, these times network packets here. Uh, we can see uh, the network packets about uh, 8 p.m. Now, uh, I'm, I'm thinking worst case scenario, and you have 20 gigabytes per second. And, yeah. uh, that, and if my network utilization is even half of that, um, mm -hmm. how long, uh, where, where are your storage uh, things? Do you, do you just specify to any network attached storage? How, where do you store your data? Does it have to be um, on the Enchronis device? Um, it depends on the, uh, the local di disk of, of uh, Enchronis appliance. And uh, about the detailed information about the Enchronis, um, uh, if, if you are interested in Enconus, you can uh, send me an email and I will uh, introduce Enconus uh, in detail. Okay. Yeah. So there is a, there is a disk in the Enconus device. Yeah. Right. And uh, we uh, we uh, saved all all these network packets uh, to this uh, local disk, and then uh, we can uh, use Enconus to uh, to get the historical um network traffic and I imagine uh, it could fill up very fast yes uh because um because we we deploy uh, we uh deployed uh the engine uh by by ourselves so uh, we have some um uh personal personal uh how to say tech to uh to to uh, re review this um traffic so fast, yeah. Yeah, and that's what Joe is asking. Joe is asking, is historical data only limited by storage available? And that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And um, um, about the MacAdress view and um, uh, the conversations view is very similar about um, Capsa, yeah. but um, yeah, but we can uh, double click to uh, get the, um, for example, the Mac conversations um, um, internal IP or external IP address uh, related to these uh, Mac address um, Mac conversations. Uh, and then we also can um, click and download package or analyze package and then we can go to the expert um, analyzer view. Uh, it just, uh, it's very similar to, to CAPSA and um, uh, we can click start to uh, decode package. Yeah, it basically is the CAPSA client, right? Just it's the, the real benefit is that within Kronos, I, I can have yeah. a collection at various points of the network. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, this expert um, analyzer is very similar to um, CAPSA and we can uh, use it to decode um, packets because um, Kronos just uh, collect uh, the, the, the traffic and show some uh, show more uh, state, uh, more uh, metrics about networks. Yeah. Jack, we have another question here. Mm -hmm. um, could I uh, set uh, uh, filters on what I store? So if I say yeah. I, I want to store uh, all of the TCP traffic, I'm not interested in UDP or whatever. Uh, can I, can I set that up? So then I limit the size of the file uh, required on the Enchronos? Uh, yes, um, we have um, not only the capture field and uh, we also have a uh, 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 saved package field. Um, about these um, um, functions about uh, also, it's not only uh, supposed in CAPSA and we also suppose in Enchronos, uh, we can just uh, uh, set a field to uh, store or display uh, the specific uh, protocol um, traffic if uh, we are interested in. Yeah. 
Yeah, generally, uh, Joe, uh, it's it's best to try to save everything. Don't filter what you capture. Just filter what you display. Now, I understand mm -hmm. you would have yeah. seen disk space, but um, whenever possible, it's typically best to capture everything and just, just uh, filter your displays. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we also can save, uh, we can also uh, save um, the packets uh, to, to use field to, to, to uh, save some specific um, uh, protocols packets uh, to our local disk. We also supposed uh, this part, yeah. And uh, here we also can uh, use Encorners to download uh, the packets. Yeah, here. And, and so you could easily uh, just say if I have like a conversation that I find interesting, mm -hmm. I can save that conversation, right? Yeah, right. Or any filter. And, um, um, the differences between the Encorners and the CAPSA, and we can we can uh, focus on application performance about uh, the default system applications, also user defined applications. For example, here we have three uh, customized uh, com uh, applications in our network. Uh, this is the applications uh, about um, uh, application server. Here, we can see um, all these hosts uh, related to this uh, application server application. Yeah, Great. and we also can set some alarms for uh, these applications. Once uh, the alarms was, was be triggered, uh, there will be uh, some alarms about uh, this application. And here uh, we can uh, customize uh, the applications um, according to the IP address or the port number. Here, for example, uh, if I want to create a new application called OA application, and here we just input the uh, IP address, for example. Of the server or something. Yeah and uh, click OK, and we can uh, create it a new uh, applications. And then we can um, uh, focus on these applications performance. Yeah. Here we also have many uh, powerful metrics about the application performance. For example, this is a uh, response time uh, charts for uh, evaluate the quality of uh, about uh, this application. Right, so people are interested in response time. Yeah. And uh, uh, if, if the response time is very high and we will know uh, the quality of uh, this uh, application is not good, and we we will uh, drill down the root cause about this uh, uh, this response time. Yeah, I always blame the SQL Server. It's their fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm teasing Jack, but I I uh, I've done some application performance analysis, and it, it's my um, experience that commonly. Uh, the programmers blame the network, and it's not the network. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, you are. You are right. Uh, sometimes um, it's not uh, the fault about the network op operationers. Uh, sometimes it's about the bug of the applications. So uh, Encorners um, can help us to locate the um, root cause about um, the delay or some other network issues. Sometimes um, maybe the delay is caused by the application bugs, and um, Encorners can do uh, these jobs to uh, help our uh, networks uh, 
guys to to locate the root cause of the net problem. Yeah. yeah. And um, um, about other um, functions, I, I will uh, I will introduce the um, alarm and the report functions about unconscious is very um, powerful than um, CAPSA. Here uh, we can see um, there are many default default system reports uh, in on corners, and um, and we we suppose uh, many different uh, charts and uh, graphs to show all these uh, network um, status. Very nice, mm -hmm. very nice, and, and that's, that's also, what management likes to see. You you show this to management yeah. guys, and then and then it looks like you've been working. <laughs> yeah right, Larry. You are you are very excellent. You are very familiar with the um, how to see the 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 stuffs. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very useful functions for uh, for our, um for example the network operators to show uh, the network uh, status uh, of whole network to sh to to um, our management. Yeah. And we also can customize uh, reports. Um, we can um, select uh, the, the metrics we are interested in and add, add uh, the metrics in layout uh, here. And then we can uh, create a new report. Yeah, here. And we also can uh, send um, the reports to our um, email box, yeah. Here we also can um, send uh, the the reports by hourly, daily, weekly, monthly to uh, to the uh, recepted uh, address, yeah. Here we can uh, see um, there are many uh, different uh, alarms about uh, unconscious, and here we can, uh, for example, we have um, uh, 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 characters about uh, seeing flood uh, attack, and we can, um, according to uh, the characters about this attack, uh, we will set uh, alarms uh, once. Um, our network uh, attacked by uh, someone uh, use as a same flood attack and we will uh, and this alarm will be triggered and then uh, we can uh, we can go to go back to the uh, 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 corners and find um, the root cause about this attack that's great, that's great. Mm -hmm. Mm, and um, um, these uh, alarms can help you to uh, to uh, to fight some uh, network uh, security issues, also the performance issues. It's a very um, powerful alarms. Yeah, you can see um, we have uh, domain alarms and uh, um, blacklist alarms. Yeah, here. And um, also we have um, a powerful um, web uh, monitoring functions here. Mm, it's more um, more beautiful uh, interface about CAPSA. You can see it, yeah. It's very clear to show you the web course uh, state status and uh, the metrics about uh, the web course, also the um, qualities about the web course. Which was yeah. one of the questions earlier. Mm -hmm. well, this is great. Guys, can you see how having a tool like this would help you understand what's on your network? You know, we talk about the meanings of words and one of the uh, common terms, and, and Jack, you didn't realize this, but I've been involved in martial arts. Uh, I've studied Chinese Kung Fu since I was a young boy mm -hmm. and, and other things. And we talk about respect. 
And respect means to read, to do again, and spect means to see, as in spectacles. So uh, if you respect your network, you will mm -hmm. look at your network, you will see it, you will see what's on there. And I find it often people don't know what's on their network. You need visibility of, of what's on your network if you're really going to respect your network. And uh, I, hopefully everybody here can see how CAPSA and Enconus is a great way to respect your network. Yeah. Jack, we're, we're, we're running out of time here. We've got a couple more minutes. Uh, is any, any closing uh, thoughts, guys? Yes. Um, um, uh, I think um, our products um, can help um, not only the network operators, also the IT managers to find uh, network issues uh, about the performance or security things. And uh, uh, we know we have many different uh, uh, security uh, um, um, tools, for example, the IDS or the WAF. Um, but um, if we collect all these uh, network packets uh, here, and we, we will know some um, potential network issues about the network. So uh, it's very useful to uh, record all these network uh, packets to a uh, local disk and then we will find some, um, some uh, possible network issues um, about these uh, securities um, applies can't find, found, yeah. And, and it's better that the network operator finds it himself uh, rather than from a customer, right? So I used mm -hmm. to say when yeah. I did network uh, 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 operations that our job was to find the problem before the phone rang, before yeah. a user noticed. So right. with a tool like this, you notice it before the user notices it, and now you have a, a chance to fix it before they even complain. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, right. Jack, it, it, um, I have a question. Can we have a copy of the presentations? And I have a copy. Is it okay? I share that with your uh, with my students. Yeah. Um, um, no. Um, it's very. Uh, it's very. Uh, ha well, I have a very great time with you guys. And um, uh, if you are interested in our um, products, or you have many uh, some uh, technical uh, um, issues uh, about. Um, about a uh, network, you can um, send an email to me and uh, I'm very, uh, I'm, uh, I'm hope to uh, get uh, the emails uh, from you guys. And uh, thank you, um, thank you Larry and thank you uh, oh, all these students of Larry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, it's just unique. And, Yeah, and um, uh, I will close this, um, uh, 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 screen and um, um, and we can um, have uh, many other uh, com communications um, by email. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I have your email, uh, so I could just give it to them. But do, uh, did you have it in your beginning slide here? Yeah. Yeah. Here. There we go. Uh, so yeah, please, uh, guys, I would love you to send send Jack an email, and um, uh, and, and, and Jackie, do you have uh, demo versions that perhaps they can see at least of, of uh, CAPSA? Is mm -hmm. it? Great, great. Yes, and uh, about um, the uh, some other questions, uh, you can send me an uh, email, and uh, um, I'm very um, happy to uh, receive uh, the emails from you. Yeah. Well, uh, how, how? <laughs> I only know a few Chinese words, but how is good, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you. Uh, thank you uh, your, your time again. And uh, hope you have a nice day. Uh, yes. Yeah.